Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. Today I thought I would start with a apartment tour uh, because you guys have not seen my apartment yet and it's not finished. It's far from finished actually. Uh, but I thought I would show you how it looks like now and uh, then you can compare it to how it looks later. So uh, let's do the apartment tour but uh, first let's make some coffee. in the kitchen we can start here um, this kitchen I'm gonna renew actually you know what let's do voiceover voiceover mode activated okay so this will be a very brief apartment tour uh, this is the kitchen as you can see uh, I'm moving this kitchen to the living room tearing it down and after doing that I will also get a new floor in the entire apartment because it's really old and this is the bathroom, brand new, pretty nice, a little bit small, but works for me. And it's nice to have a window in the bathroom. Hello, mirror. This wall right here I'm gonna tear down, so that it'll be more open, the entrance, and it will look bigger. Everything is a mess right now, as you can see. Uh, I don't feel very organized, but that's how it is, you know. Here's my bedroom, you can see the door is missing, I need to get a new door. And uh, it's uh, very bright. I don't have any curtains yet because I want to wait for the painting to be done before I get curtains. And uh, that's like torture in Norway this time of year. Because it's so bright, it doesn't really get dark. And uh, that's a wetsuit that you might remember from one of my films. So yeah, that's my bedroom right now. And this right here is what will be my office, I guess, uh, eventually. Right now my office is in the living room. I used a dining table and this is also where the kitchen will be. And I just got internet like a couple of days ago. The view from the living room is pretty nice actually. Looking straight at the American Embassy house. Right now there are a lot of green trees in the way but uh, just a couple of weeks ago you could see it. So that was a quick apartment tour. Now let's go climb. So this will be another solo vlog, but uh, the next vlog will be with Cecilia Skook and uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, we're all excited for those videos. I am excited to make them and it seems like you're excited to see them as well, uh, judging by your comments in the last video. And I'm still not sure what I should call the videos I do with Cecilia, so uh, if you have any suggestions you should uh, leave me a comment. The music is a little bit extreme, but I thought it was suiting with the driving. So I'll keep it for the first part of the climbing as well. Today I think I'm going to show you guys uh, the five hardest bullet problems because they're all new since the last vlog that I made. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. So if you saw my last vlog, you know the drill. We start with the easiest bullet problem and we end with the hardest. And before today I hadn't climbed for 10 days, so I was excited to see how my body would feel. This yellow first one is a 7B+, plus. starts a little bit awkward, a little bit more awkward than it looks. Jump out to that pinch, get a heel hook, cross to the pinch, which is pretty bad. Briefly match the pinch, and this move out to the edge is not easy. This foot match right here is uh, probably one of the hardest moves on this bowler. I'm just gonna pause it here for a second. So the next move is really blind. Uh, you can see that you're going for a hold around the edge. So I adjust my right hand a little bit to get it a little bit closer so that I can get my body out of the wall to see what I'm going for. And then you do this like high pull up to get your feet up. The last part is not too bad. I think that was enough techno music for today. So now we're moving up one grade to 7C. This one actually felt the easiest for me out of all the bullet problems. 
So you start on two crimps, go to an undercling, go to sloper, go again to a kind of a slot. And then you go to a bad sloper, but you have a frog, or I mean, you don't actually have a frog, but you do a frog with your feet. Frogging is when you squeeze your feet against each other. And in this case, I had a heloc on my left. And then you jump out, switch to a mantle on your left hand, and get your foot high and match the top hold. This uh, green one is also 7C, and uh, I don't have that much to say about it. It's a really low start, and it's pretty straightforward, although it doesn't look that straightforward. The only thing I have to say about this, I guess, is the last move is a pogo move, and uh, I hope to do another tutorial on uh, different techniques, and uh, I definitely want to include the pogo move in that tutorial. So the next one is uh, 7C as well, orange holds, and uh, this one is a little bit different. The holds are small, uh, a little bit sharp, and uh, you have to really want it. There's really not much else to say about this bowler. Alright, so the last bowler, the hardest one. This one is uh, 7C+. I had tried this bowler before and uh, I did not flash it. It took me some tries to do it actually. So you start with a toe hook and uh, this weird start hold with a lot of pebbles on it. Then you release the toe hook as you go for a pinch. You throw your right foot out to the side. You go again to a horizontal pinch and that's the crux move. And from here it looks like I'm standing on the black one but I'm really not. And these next moves are not easy either. Uh, especially coming into this big pinch looking thing. Match it is awkward. And it's always hard to tell how steep it is. This wall is uh, 45 degrees steep. Grab it on the side just to adjust a little bit before I go for the top hold. And then you do this like weird toe hook to match the top hold. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I played this bowler a little bit slower just to have time for the voiceover. Okay, so those were the hardest five bowler problems at the gym currently, uh, but of course I have a bonus one. I saw my sister doing this uh, 7B on uh, Instagram and thought it looked pretty cool. It looked like a uh, perfect bowler to end the session, like a fun bowler just to wrap things up. But it turned out to be a little bit more tricky than I expected. I just couldn't get that toe hook to stick. And I got more and more frustrated, so I had a lot of tries within a short amount of time. Knowing that my sister had done it, <laughs> probably triggered it a little bit, to be honest. And I probably had like 10 tries within a minute. Uh, trying, trying, trying. I mean, the best thing to do when you get stuck on a bowler like this is to take a step back and actually think about what you're doing. And eventually that's what I did, and I realized that I have to step further out to the right with my right foot, unlocking the secret. But then I started falling on the upper part, and I got even more frustrated. I took a little break and came back. And I won't try to analyze this bowler too much, but uh, what I've learned from this is things I already knew, like not to get frustrated, and never ever underestimate your sister. Okay, so it's time for something new that I'd like to call exercise of the day. So today's exercise is a double dyno. You go up, two, down, one. And on the way down, you should uh, pretend like the rung is on fire. So you want to spend as little time as possible on the way down. I like to do up to eight jumps, not more, and do the exercise five times right after warming up. I guess a lot of you have seen this exercise before, but um, I think it's a good exercise for explosive power. Okay, so that's everything I had for you guys today. Um, next video will be with Cecilia Skog, and I still don't know what to call those videos. Um, so if you have any suggestions, you should leave them below. Um, like Cecilia's way to 7B+. Cecilia's because they're not really vlogs, you know
And I'm not trying to get you guys to comment just to get engagement on my videos. Because um, I get really annoyed when people do that on Instagram, you know? It's like, I like oranges. Do you like oranges? Comment down below, you know, just to create engagement. <laughs> I hate that. Uh, so I'm not doing that. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm actually trying to get like a cool name for the videos with Cecilia because they're not vlogs, I don't think. All right, I'm gonna go out and uh, take some B-roll that you will see in a second. Um, so thank you for watching. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe as always. And uh, I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.